Hi Taurus, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Let's see the messages you really need to know today. We're going to spill some tea, it looks like. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, hopefully you get some good advice out of this one. All right, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right, Taurus, we're just going to jump in. No time to waste today. Queen of Pentacles. Justice. The Sun. Seven of Pentacles. And Eight of Pentacles. Did I say Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. That was strange. Okay. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is the lady who has it all. She's very capable. She earns a good income. She keeps a nice home. She takes care of her family. Um, you know, this is like the single mom card. This is the mom that's just doing it, you know? She's not going to take irrational risks. You, you would be very lucky to have her as a friend because she's very loyal, loving, practical, reliable successful. What a beautiful energy to be in, right Taurus? That's pretty amazing. I feel like you are balancing the scales. You know, I feel like you're finally feeling okay again. I don't know why I'm feeling that way, but I'm feeling like things are coming back into balance for you. You're coming back into alignment. I think things are, are going to work out for you. The sun's here. That means you're happy. That means you're happy. That means that happiness is yours um, to have every day if that's what you want. You got just have to choose it, right? You have to choose the happiness. It's here, and I do feel I do feel that you're happy. I do feel a much better energy from you. And I'm not remembering my past reads because I I never remember my readings. Um, you know, sometimes I, I remember pieces of things or general energy of things, but I don't really remember them. I do too many. Um, I'm not meant to remember them because they're not for me. Um, I don't even remember my own readings. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just, I, I feel like you feel better. Like I feel like I feel better energy from you. I don't, that if that's making any sense like I feel like you feel better than you've been feeling <laughs> and I feel that's because you have options now you have opportunities now and um, I, I think that you've worked hard to get to where you are right now I think you've worked hard for this happiness and I'm so happy that justice is here for you I, I do I am it feels good this reading feels so good so let's get some more um, tarot cards and let's see um let's see what else keep the story going a little bit the moon three of swords I don't like that card eight of swords <laughs> the magician should have should have kept off with the top row should have left off there no, it's not bad. It's just, you know, the moon's here. The moon, the moon, the moon always symbolizes like either darkness, like we can't see things, we can't see clearly. We're a little, we're in confusion. You might be a little bit confused because here it is. Remember how I was saying that you feel better than you you felt before? Well, it's because I I guess I was feeling this heartache, this loss. You guys must have had some heartache in your recent past. And um, you're still, you're still, you're, you still have some anxiety over it. And I think the confusion part is why? Because I'm happy now. Like I'm getting balance. I'm coming back into alignment. So why am I still feeling this heartache? And why am I still feeling, you know, um, anxiety over it? Why is it still bothering me? So I really feel like you're like pushing yourself. I feel like you're in magician mood here and you're like, nope, I'm manifesting good things only. I want this out of my energy. The problem with that is 
we feel what we feel. And the only way around it is through it. So if you haven't faced this completely, there's some more shadow work you have to do here. And to really, really conquer this, to, to conquer this heartache and to conquer this anxiety over it. So, I'm, you know, I think in general, you're very happy and I think things are going well for you. And I think you're in a much better place. Um, but there still might be a little bit here that you're hanging on to. Um, do your best, get rid of it. That's all I can say is do your best. Um, be, do your best not to be triggered by the heartache. Um, and, you know, again, keep focusing on that happiness. Keep choosing happiness because when you do that, that's the more, you'll get more of it. I should take my own advice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. Hear that? Much-needed self-care. Because you put yourself through the ringer, right? You, anxiety is, you know, it's tough. So make sure you're taking time for you. Make sure that you are really pampering yourself at this time because I feel like you need it and I feel like you deserve it. Um, keep yourself in this sun energy, you know what I mean? And this will help you do it. So, you know, don't let this energy bring you down. Keep Try to keep yourself here as much as you possibly can. It's not always easy, but it's possible. <laughs> it is. Trust your intuition. Yeah, that makes sense, right? We, I, I feel like you do. I feel like that's why you're here because you did trust your intuition. And I think that you do. I, for, for some reason, I'm feeling a very wise energy from you, Taurus. Um, there, there's like a lot of intelligence here. So, you know, just trust what your higher self is going to give you because uh, they're not going to lead you wrong. do all things in moderation all right so let's not overindulge right now okay um, let's take it easy don't drink too much don't spend too much don't eat too much you know do all things in moderation have fun be happy do do enough to keep you in that happy high vibe emotion right um, but don't overindulge because um, when we overindulge that leads to back to this that, that sucks us back down right so again keep it in check keep it in balance let me get these cards children know that your children are protected okay stop worrying about your kids they're fine and that's probably where some of this anxiety is coming from because you're worried about whether your kids are going to turn out okay or if somebody's going to hurt them or somebody's going to take something from them for what take what they deserve stop your children's lives they have their own journey and they have their own path and they have their own lessons to learn the divine has them they got their back it's okay they're being looked out for Everything's okay. You can you can release the stress. Now, as mothers, especially mothers, but if we're eight fathers too, but we, we always worry about our children, right? So that's a normal, but they're saying everything's going to work out for them. It's going to be okay. They're, they'll be fine. They'll get through whatever they're going through. A win-win outcome is forecasted. So you got a victory coming in for you, Taurus. Let's uh, let's revel in that. You know, let's just uh, look forward to it. You know, again, stay stay high vibing so it, it just continues. That win-win continues. Getting to know each other. I do. I feel like somebody's coming in that you're gonna get to know. I feel like um. You're in that stage where you're you you might be making a new friend. 
um, whether that's a romantic partner or not. But I feel like you're in that stage where you're getting to know each other. Um, if not, that's coming in very soon. There's going to be somebody new in your life that you are getting to know. Or it could be, you know, somebody old that that comes that you're getting to know again. It doesn't matter. But I do feel like you have um, a new energy around you. All right, let's get um, let's get a love advice card for those of us looking for love. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by think by what you think, dream, and imagine. All right, Taurus. Stop with this anxiety. Let it go. We gotta we gotta think about positive things. We gotta think about what we want, what's gonna make us happy. We gotta think of our soulmate. We gotta think of somebody who's amazing and sexy and beautiful and rich <laughs> whatever whatever it is that turns you on i don't know but that's what you got to focus on okay let go of the past it's done that heartache i know you're still triggered by it but do your best let it go all right let's get you um what is this one a white light oracle card for an advice card i'll read from the book because the meanings are too long you have Tantra of 639 Hertz. Okay. 639 Hertz. Uh, go on YouTube. Well, you're on YouTube right now, right? And type in 639 Hertz. I would listen to that frequency, and that might help heal you a little bit. Uh, but here, let's read what the book says. Be open to that which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough as you embraced an unusual approach. You are on a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth, which will swift, which is swifter, but not always easier. You do not have to contrive your own happiness, but you can dip into the bliss within your body to lighten your mental state and remind yourself everything is working out beautifully. So, in other words, they're saying you don't have to create your happiness because your happiness is here for you. They, 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 the energy here is surrounding you. So dip into it. Just dip into your happiness. Okay? And um, when you're starting to feel like anxious or sad or confused even, um, just dip into that. Just say, no, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> and, uh, and feel it. Really feel it. Let's grab me a few charms. I gotta think of the title for this one. Um, all right, here's your turn. Oh, yep. Transformation has happened, right? You're probably still in it a little bit, but I feel like you're coming out of it. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's mostly in the past, the transformation. I feel like you, you are well on your way to being back in alignment. What, and that's exactly where you need to be. Look, you got my seashell. Now for me, this represents either the beach or knowledge. Okay, for me, I'm thinking this is knowledge. This is about, you know, uh, trusting your intuition, right? Trusting that inner knowledge that they have instilled in you, that your higher self gives to you every day. Trust it. Follow it. Here's, here's the seahorse. So, again, that's parental energy. Your children are okay. They'll be fine. Don't worry. Um, here's a kitty cat, you being Miss Independent or Mr. Independent at this time, taking care of things, doing what you need to do. Good for you. You're just acknowledging that. They're saying that a gift is coming your way. So hang on. There's something beautiful coming. You, you have something to look forward to. And it might be in the fall here because we have October and the pumpkin. So, um, yeah, I would expect something really nice to happen for you in the fall. Maybe, maybe even you know, October, pumpkin picking season. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. I hoped it helped you in some way. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that helps me, makes me very grateful. And uh, until next time, love and light.